Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've always wanted to say that. Um, this is really my first video getting back into YouTube. I have just a few um, vlogs from a few years ago and my daughter was a lot younger and a couple tours and stuff like that, but nothing, um, I haven't really done much with it in a while. So 2020, back at it. Got lots of fun stuff to share and I'm very excited about it. Just really about the joy of creating something different. I've been doing Instagram for so long and I love it, but it'll just be nice to have something else because YouTube is so different and the audience is so different. So I'm really excited to do it. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you our current house that we're in right now, a little tour of it. Um, I, I did one on Instagram with all of our holiday decorations up, but it was just kind of a quick, um, I feel like on YouTube you can kind of just like sit on your couch, turn on YouTube, and watch a video. That's what I've been doing um, every night that I've been home by myself. I'm just like, just we're starting off just with a nice tour of our current home, which we have sold. I think everything's going to be going through. You never know, but um, we should be moving into our new house in a couple of weeks. But um, I just wanted to do a nice tour of this house before we move out because mostly just because someday I'll want to see it. We love this house, but it is too small. It's two bedrooms. We originally thought we were going to be adding on to the back, adding more bedrooms. And uh, after talking to people about it, we just realized that we do not want to get into all that. Uh, we'd have to move out for six months, they're saying. And just with kids, I just don't want to be doing that. Yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So we have a beautiful street here, palm trees, but it is a very busy street. I'm so gonna miss all these palm trees. They're so beautiful to look at. This beautiful orange tree over here. But as you can see, the street is very busy. It's just the middle of the day. You can see cars just whizzing by. So that's one thing that I'm glad to be done with. As you walk in, you'll find a little rack you'll find our alarm system that has been my best friend while I've been living here because I'm alone at night a lot. We've got peace and calming, diffusing, which is great. We have been renting this piano. Um, I think we're gonna give it back and not move it to the new house, but we've really loved it. It's been nice to have. We have this lovely Ojoy oh Los Angeles pillow that I love because I do miss LA. Um, so this is the, I guess, living room, but we, we moved the TV in the other room because we felt so exposed by this window. Like, like I said, it's a really busy street, so people are walking by all the time. So it's not really like enjoyable to sit in here and watch TV. And I, of course, like the windows open because I like to have all the light come in that can. And speaking of light, um, this room is not very bright. In the morning, the sun shines through this window, but you know, as you get through the day here, there's no other really light sources. Like there's these two windows and that's really it for light sources. So it's not the brightest room. And as you can see, someone's, oh, no, you can't see, but someone's walking by right now. Um, these chairs are from Target, I love them. I'm missing something up here. I, all the holiday decor is down and it feels so empty and crazy, but um, I know there's stuff that I forgot to put back up. So anyway, from here, this is like what we call the weird closet. No one has ever seen in here. Dun, dun, dun. We call it the weird closet. We have shoes there. As you can see, we're not organized here. We just have a bunch of stuff in here. The original plan was to um, turn to put our laundry in there because it's in the garage now, but um, never got around to it and, you know, not really worth the money if you're not going to be staying for a long time. Hi! Do you want to show me your room? Yeah. Okay. So this is the kiddos' room that they're sharing now and it looks a little bit, it looks pretty, um, realistic for how, what it usually looks like. Darcy's just playing with all of his Imaginex guys, so they're all over the floor. 
other than that, Goldie's bed broke, so we have to fix that. And for now, her mattress is on the floor. The little things that you kind of just put up with when you are in the middle of moving. You're just like, ah, it's okay, put your mattress on the floor. But that's her safe, which she loves. And then we love this cute Disneyland poster and her little mermaid poster that she's had since she was a baby, Eric Tan. And then Darcy's got his bed. What's your favorite stuffy, Darcy? Which stuffy do you love? Who, the Ewok? Yeah. Aww. And then we have this print that we got before he was born, the Mr. Darcy print. <laughs> and we just love him. And here's Boo Boo. She's going to be 10 years old. Say hi, Boo Boo. So this is... The kid bathroom, which we renovated, um, yeah, I really like it. And as, if anyone has ever renovated a space, you know that it's hard to leave because you put a lot into it and it was hard and you had people in your house and a uh, mess and everything. But I mean, it's worth it for the time that we got to spend in here. Um, so we had this wall actually built on because it was just a bath before. So we added this wall so that we could add a shower and a new bathtub. And then, of course, we replaced the vanity, which I love the vanity. I love the marble with the subway tile. Such a classic, nice look. We've got some of my favorite nail polishes here. Let's see what these are. Set in sandstone, bikini sotini. And then this, I don't know what color it is, but anyway. Um, yeah, what else? I like that print too. And then I have some of my beauty stuff here. I'll do a separate video on that someday. But yeah, it's, it's going to, oh, then we got the cement tile, which I wouldn't recommend because it is, has been kind of a nightmare. If you want to hear more about that, I will tell you more. But for now, um, Yes, I just love this bathroom and I'm going to be sad to say goodbye. From there, we come into the master, which is pretty tiny. You know, it's an old house, so we, you know, it's kind of what you would expect with um, an old house. I love the wallpaper. Um, it is from Chasing Paper. And we have like a really nice mattress now, so I'm like, ah. Uh. So cozy and nice. Um, there was a ceiling fan in here, but I hate ceiling fans. I don't know if anyone hates them as much as I do. I think I'm like the world's number one enemy of the ceiling fan. But I don't know if you if you um, think that you're in the running for that too, let me know because I, I can prove to you that I hate ceiling fans the most. And my family will tell you that too. Um, hi, boo boo. So this is the other bathroom. Um, we had planned on at first just like demoing the whole thing and making this part of the kitchen and then we thought we might just renovate this and you know like for aesthetics like it, I like it I like the look of it it's pleasing to my eye I like the yellow and the pink but like realistically it's just it's grimy living in a bathroom that's this old just for me I don't know that's just how I am so, and while I love the pink sink, I love the pink bath. I'm kind of glad that we didn't have to demo it because I would have felt so bad about it, but um, we ended up moving so we didn't have to think about it so much. Okay, so, hi. Uh, this is our closet. You know what, I'm just gonna show you the closet because it's just so terrible. Okay, and then of course I've always got tons of stuff hanging up here. See, I mean, a lot of you know how many clothes I have. This is my only closet in this house. I mean, how crazy is that? I know it's a mess and I'm, my goal in our new house is to be a lot more organized, but I do want to show you this really cute sweatshirt that I got from Zara. Can't really see it, but it's got a bunch of Mickeys on it. I can't wait to wear it to Disneyland. So from here, we'll come back out into the living room. Here we have the dining room. Um, I got this chandelier many years ago. It's area wear and I just still love it, but this new buyer wants to buy it. So I'm like, oh, should I just get something new? Should I keep it? I've had it in so many houses and I just really love it. But 
I might want to just let it go and get something new. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I love, 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 love our nest. It is so awesome. And it just looks pleasing to the eye too. It doesn't look like a eyesore of a thermostat like some do. So highly recommend the nest. Okay, we have some prints here. And here we come into the kitchen. And this is the number one thing that I'm going to miss about this house is this wallpaper. Because it's real wallpaper and like, I don't think I can get it again, but I just love it so much. Um, okay, so small kitchen, but it was renovated when we moved in and I just, I loved it. We just made small changes like changing out light fixtures and knobs and that kind of thing. But I just, I, I love the kitchen. Um, it needs to be more organized, but like I said, I'm going to work on that in my new house. My mom got me this for Christmas in my stocking, but I have this thing where I don't like taking tags off things. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Love this huge sink. Um, my favorite candle ever. Oh, it's such a good candle. I love it so much. Uh, my pink toaster that Gabe got me, my husband. Um, our bando calendar we always have to have. Fake cake my sister made me, my favorite popcorn bucket from Disneyland, my Disneyland vase that I got before we moved to Tennessee because I thought, oh, I can't go to Disneyland anymore. But thank God we moved back. Um, what else? I always wanted to change out this flooring and like match it up with the rest of the house and change all the flooring, but you know, we never got around to any of that. And that is fine. I oh, love my Nespresso too even though sometimes I feel like they don't have any caffeine in them. Okay, so this is a room that we kind of made into our TV room. I mean, it's just, it's an old house, so, it, you know, the layout's just kind of strange. But um, this is my um, outfit trying on mirror. Everybody's got to have one. Um, this couch is from Ikea, and the um, cover is from Bims, and I just, I love it. I actually really like the couch, even though it's from Ikea. It's um, pretty comfortable. Desk. Nothing special going on there. TV, blah, blah, blah. I got to change that out from Christmas. Um, this um, bookcase we got at the West Elm Outlet, um, which we like to go to sometimes. And my favorite thing about this room is this huge sliding door that takes up most of the the wall so you know i like a lot of natural light so that is nice here's the backyard which we did do some stuff to we wanted to do obviously a lot more but um this is very unsightly this whole thing we wanted to build a deck out here but never got around to it it's a huge yard but um Let's see, we planted all these in here. We painted the house white. It was like a yellowish color. And then I painted this fence. It was black, so I painted it white. I think it looks a lot more pleasing. And then we planted these guys to try to cover up the fence more. We put some rock and some more modern looking pavers in here and we planted all these plants here. This area over here, we never got around to doing. That was kind of next on our list. We painted, um, that shed out there and that building there um and yeah we had definitely had plans for for back here but you know and i just love the view of the palm trees and it's just really pretty but yeah nice backyard so much potential that we didn't um that we didn't use we didn't take advantage of but you know it's always next time <laughs> hopefully the new owners will do something fun with it Okay, so that's about it. Um, I hope you like this tour. If there's any other videos you wanna see, please let me know down below, like all the cool YouTubers say. And, you know, also go ahead and hit that subscribe button as also all the cool YouTubers say. Um, okay, I'll see you next time, bye.